we went turkey hunting this weekend, and uh, we went with Michael Waddell. And so you bring up a picture of Michael Waddell there, Riley Mao. Back there beating off. Huh? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if he's that guy, really. Let's get to a picture there of Michael Waddell. There we go. We went out there with Michael Waddell. And now this dude hates turkeys. Is that okay to say? (laughs) He's the Osama bin Laden of turkeys, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's the Osama Butterball Laden, dude. (laughs) This guy. So we get out there. What would you think of it, man? What would you think of the hunting? Well, I I thought it was... uh... I thought it was 50-50. It was 50% fun, 50% very, very boring. (laughs) Terribly boring and 50% really fun. Yeah. I like the parts where – the part that thinks about hunting I thought is like you're out there and you kind of think of it as like a chill vibe where you're with your boys and you're maybe popping a beer, talking, listening to music. But you can't drink because you have guns. There's no music because you have to be quiet. And then half the time, my boys, you were in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't. Don't throw me into the car. <laughs> you were okay, dude. When I I got a turkey, and you were in the car. Well, let's tell everybody exactly what happened. So, first of all, we <laughs> go out there, right? And you set up. You bring like these little tricks and stuff. You bring like little like fans that are like uh, camouflage little, and you're like just geisha girling out there in the field, <laughs> like trying to hide behind this fan. <laughs> and you kind of set like you go set up and you hide somewhere and michael's also like to set it up like the number one turkey hunter in the I, I yeah. guess world oh yeah this guy could yeah i mean this guy could just shoot an arrow into the air and it would land in a turkey he won like a competition of turkey calling nationals yeah he was like yeah he's like one of the best turkey callers ever so he's got that uh he's got that verbal on him mm-hmm. you know he's definitely he's i mean he's a uh He's like the Pavarotti of tur- turkey callers. So he gets out there. So you kind of setting up, and then he's to, he's like in the distance. He's like, uh, <laughs> do it. See if you can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He gave me the thing. I wish I brought it. We could have called. We could have used it. I know. Uh, Show for real. The if- funniest thing is he'll be like, all right. Everyone be real calm. These guys eat, they eat ants in dirt for, yeah. they can see every speck of dirt. It's what they eat for a full time job. Yeah, like, yeah they, they eat can, spiders, buddy. So if they can see that, they can see you. And then so he, they have amazing eyesight. So and, to be, that's the thing you have to sneak up on. So them. we're all sitting dead still because he's telling us. And then meanwhile, he's running through the field. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the fucking fan going. <laughs> Dude, they can see you for sure. So he's a fake turkey, <laughs> and he holds a fake turkey in front of him. Like they can't see him because he's hiding behind this fake turkey that's about this big. <laughs> he's holding in front of him like an invisibility cloak. Yeah, yeah. We had like five guys hiding behind a little bitty fake turkey. <laughs> like it was crazy. So, but anyway, the crazy part for me is, and first of all, I'll tell you why I was in the car. So we did a couple of, we did a couple of spots where you make the calls and everything, nothing showed up, right? It was like waiting for like, it's almost like if you order Uber Eats or something and then it just doesn't show up or whatever the guy's lost. At a certain point, it's like, oh, fuck it. I'll just go put something in the oven. But sometimes know? we would see him. Like, it would be like if you saw Uber Eats, like it's got close to your house. So you go outside to grab it and then he kind of just creeps up and then just drives past your yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they had all types of like, so anyway, so the turkey, you go out there and you make the sounds and stuff and we couldn't get the, we didn't get them, remember? We didn't get them. No. So we had retired for the day, the first day. Yeah, like two hours. We were, we were out there two or three hours and we said, that's enough. Right. And at that point, we all got in the truck mm. and we were leaving. Mm. And at that point, we just drove past a bunch of tur. like we'd been in the woods looking for turkeys. Well, DE was like, I saw some gobblers over there. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> there's another guy that was with us and he's like a... I guess he's like a land man, you know, he kind of is like a, you know, part man, part myth. He kind of hangs out at the camp. You know, this fellow named D.E. was his name. And that's not a full, I guess it's not a whole name, but it's he gives you half of it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, he keeps his cards Yeah, you kept saying dyslexic Ed. (laughs) I don't know what it stood for. (laughs) I thought it was Ed, but he had the letters tangled up. (laughs) But, uh, so we get out there and then we're riding off and D.E. goes, I seen. I think I seen a couple gobblers. <laughs> okay, and uh, so gobblers are turkeys, I guess, mm-hmm. right? And so there's always everybody saying, "Oh, there's a couple gobblers mm-hmm. right around that bend over there." It's a buzzword for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's a buzzword. Dude. <laughs> 
And so it's like saying synergy in a business meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Or saying zeitgeist. People always say, "Oh, it's in the zeitgeist," you know. Um, so anyway, somebody pops. Somebody's like, "Oh, I saw, saw a couple gobblers." Over there. <laughs> so next thing you know, we drive past like a bunch of turkeys, and they were like, I guess they were like on break or whatever, because I guess the turkeys are like out, like trying to hide from us, and then they all take a break. Anyway, we get to, we we went, we couldn't find any turkeys that morning, so we're leaving, and there's a bunch of turkeys just like they're like resting their legs on the side <laughs> of the road. Some of them are sitting in ice tubs. They're all like it's behind the scenes. We're driving through like behind the scenes <laughs> turkey BTS, dude. Yeah, yeah, turkey BTS. So they're like, all right, let's go get one of these gobblers. All right, so. They got the, these guys are like, all right, we're gonna go get one, because Michael Waddell does not like. He don't let a turkey live. He don't want to let a turkey live. No, man. he is when he locks in on a bird, he locks in on a bird. And he's very, very, very nice and very, very charismatic to people. Mm -hmm. But he's that you can see does have that switch. Oh, it fucking switches. After on three him, hours, we're like, maybe let's go back and get some breakfast because mm -hmm. we've been up since four forty in the morning, and he was maybe we stay here yeah. and kill these fucking turkeys. <laughs> yeah. like, okay, dude, we'll stay around for another minute. Yeah, dude, he won't. I mean, if you even fucking mention Thanksgiving, he'll just fucking come on you. <laughs> yeah. You he know? kept on saying all these turkeys want to do is fucking fight. And I was like, yeah, is it just a turkey? <laughs> Who are we talking about? Dude? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, they we parked the truck. You guys get out and go back into some woods and come back a few minutes later with, uh, well, what happened? Dude, the turkey walked up on us. Like, I mean, this sounds crazy. It was probably seven yards away from me. <laughs> but, dude, what are you going to do? Like, we have been waiting all day. We go out there. We drive all mm -hmm. the way to Immokalee, Florida, mm -hmm. which is far for everyone. We're doing a hunting trip. We've been planning it for six months. We're wearing camo. I woke up at 440 in the morning. Yeah. I'm holding a gun. We're looking for turkeys. And I see one seven yards away. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, dude? Seven Put yards. Put the rifle down? Yeah, I don't know. Now, look, man. You guys went and did it. For me, it was just like we done it. We're leaving. We see a bunch of turkeys fucking <laughs> playing like – they were playing like badminton on the side of the road. So then it's like, all right, let's go kill one of these bastards. They're like, oh, y'all out there. Someone threw me a peace sign. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're not. Yeah, it was like they they seemed to. It was like I don't know. I felt like the hunt had kind of ended a little bit for it that had, morning. It had. 